Hi, this is Bonnie Francis, and we have our senior adult show with Bonnie Walter. Welcome back. Hello there. Um, we're talking the second week of May, and the big push, because I know I've been interviewing a lot of people, is our senior summit coming up May 15th. Right. So what other information or what else do you have? For well, this? first of all, I want everybody to pray for nice weather. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, I, or last year, I think it took us a week to dry out because it just was a monsoon with the water. So let's all pray for a nice, warm, sunny day so everybody can come out and enjoy. Um, the other thing is to get ready for the summit, and then we'll talk about the summit. Thursday, May 14th, all three senior centers will be closed to prepare for the summit on Friday. Okay. So I just want to make sure everybody realizes that Thursday the centers will be closed. Okay. It's a big week for the seniors because we're celebrating uh, Older American Month. And that's always been the time that we've held the Senior Summit at the 4-H Park. And it's a big deal. And right. it's a lot of fun. Right. It is fun. Uh, trying to promote um, some spirit leading up to it. We're doing a spirit week. Right. Um, this is, we, we've always had a good time with it in the centers. And it's like anything else. If you don't participate, you don't get it. If you participate, you're having a good time with it. So. Right. You roll with it. You do. You do. Uh, Monday is pajama day. So after the weekend, you're still tired. You don't even have to, you know, I'm not telling you not to take a shower, but you can attend class in your pajamas. So um, that'll be Monday. Uh, Tuesday, we're doing a crazy hair or hat day. So you wear a crazy hairdo or a hat or both. Okay. So that should be some fun too. And then Wednesday is a decade day. So um, I laughed at um, Mr. Anderson, Mark Anderson, one of our commissioners. We were going over this the other week at a commission on aging meeting. And he said, oh. What was your best decade? He said, well, in the 1940s, I wore a diaper. He said, then I guess in the 19, well, probably 2020, I'll be wearing another diaper. I said, if you're brave enough, go right ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come into yeah. the New Year's baby. <laughs> yeah. But um, that's decade days. So what was your favorite decade? I think you're going to see a lot of folks in the 50 and 60 outfits. Right. Poodle skirt. Poodle skirt. A lot of that stuff will be going on. It'll bring back a lot of fond memories for everybody. Now, when we used to do that in the schools, a lot of the kids would do like the 70s. Um, you know, disco. Yes. That, yes. that type of thing. Or the 60s with the flowers and bell bottoms. and uh, Yeah, the, uh, what do you call them? Um, Flower children, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think we'll see a lot of that happening again. Thursday, the center's closed, but they're at, they would love everybody to wear red, white, and blue on Friday to okay. celebrate um, at the center. They're also asking everybody to bring a non-perishable food item, uh, and that'll be donated um, to um, the food shelters. And by doing that, you get a, a chance to win a free prize. So if you bring a non-perishable canned good or what have you. You'll get a chance to win a free so prize. So where do they they take that out to the summit? Yes, they bring just, it to the summit. Yes. Okay. It'll be, um, I guess, reciprocal there for area. them. Yeah, collection area for them to do that. But it's a lot of time. Um, you've kind of got the paperwork there, Bonnie, in front of you of some of the uh, things they can expect to find there, some of the vendors and what yeah, have you. Yeah, yeah. We they have the American, or I mean, the Animal Welfare League, and they have blood pressure going on. They have classic car display that's why we're praying for good weather yes, so yes. Mikey can bring the car out maybe um, there's DJ and there's usually music going all the time yes sometimes um, there's specific groups that play I know um, Christine did like a Zumba and she's doing it again they've been practicing for a couple weeks now yeah um, it says that there's trivia booth, then they can win prizes, and those vendors, and that's who we've been interviewing, okay. are the people that have um, different um, services that seniors mm -hmm. can take advantage of, like hearing aids or the doctors that'll come out there mm -hmm. for digestive disorders or um, blood pressure screening okay. isn't just, you know, any individual. It may be some health care facility right, right. that does that for them. And a lot of the booths have um, things that they can take home with them. Oh, a lot of free um, goodies. Baskets yes. that they may raffle off or um, pill boxes they mm -hmm. give out, water bottles, bags. So there's a lot of things that they can take home with them right. besides the information they gain from the vendor. Well, I, I noticed uh, some of the folks that came last year, the first vendor they went to, who was giving out the big bags? 
So they had their bag, their grocery bag, to go around to get all the other there freebies to throw in that's, the bag, which made a, smart, a lot of good sense. Yep. Yeah, it really did. Good plan. Yeah, it did. So that so it's a fun fun time. Um, and I urge all you seniors to come out and take advantage. It's free to come in. There's no charge. Um, they are having a lunch, a catered lunch. Um, you can get your tickets ahead of time at any one of the three senior centers. I think you've got the menu there about lunch. Let me look. Yep, lunch tickets. It says they're $7.00. It's a pit beef sandwich, chips, and ice cream. It includes uh, morning coffee and pastry. And it says tickets available at senior centers now, or they can purchase them May 15th Okay, out And there. I believe they usually have water, lemonade, and iced tea. Right. That's available too, so. It's just a fun day. So again, everybody pray for good weather. That'll be the big point to really make it enjoyable for everybody. Now, the other thing that um, happens is transportation. Yes. Because I know they bring people in the county ride buses out there and so. they get that from the three three center so right. they can um and actually let me give you a number i actually have the flyer here because i could never remember the number offhand i have I numbers to... here oh okay i was gonna say we have one um, here too it says um limited transportation available for three dollars graysonville senior center the number is 410-827-6010 ken island senior center 410-604-3801 and Sellersville Senior Center is 410-438-3159. Right, and or else you can call directly into County Ride as well, and that's 410-758-2357. So I think we covered all our bases. Just, yeah. just need good weather to have a good time. Right. And it is fun. It is fun. You get to see a lot of your friends again, maybe that you don't see through the winter time. Right, And right. they're getting out for the spring. I know some of the classes, like your dance classes, some of your exercise classes, they've been working up a routine to demonstrate what goes on at the various classes. So that's always enjoyable. They have a good time with that as well. Right. So that's good. So we'll see you there. Yes. May, May 15th. 15th on a Friday. Yes.